So when you start working with After Effects, there are a ton of resources online. If you Google common AE expressions, you'll come up with a bunch of already pre-written expressions that you can use. And this common AE expressions Google Doc is a community edited document that is constantly evolving, um, that has just a ton of different really helpful bounces and wiggles and a variety of different animations that are really handy. But the one that I use most often is the very first one at the top of the list, which is the inertial bounce. And this is one probably most people use. So you grab this entire script and copy it. We're going to come over to After Effects where I have this shape layer with a really simple linear scale animation on it, where it starts at zero and then goes to 100. So really basic scale up. And I am going to hover over the stopwatch, hold down Alt, and click on it to open up this expression area. And I'm going to copy the entire expression into there. And you can adjust the expression by moving the keyframes closer or farther apart. But you can also come into the expression and edit it if you scroll down to the amplification, frequency, and decay settings here. I personally prefer to set the amplification at 0.02 and the frequency at 2, and that's just been the look that I prefer for most of my animations. But you can change those numbers and play around with them and see what look you prefer for the animation that you're working on. And again, moving the keyframes closer together or farther apart will also alter how that animation works. And this works on more properties than just the scale. I'm going to delete this off of the scale and get rid of my keyframes. Click on the layer and hit P to bring up my position. I'm going to come out to 12 frames and set my end keyframe. Go to the beginning of my layer and drag that off screen so that we have a really basic linear position animation. Hover over the stopwatch, hold down Alt, and click on it and then paste in the animation, the expression. So that adds the bounce to the position. And if your s expression window is really small, you can just click and drag that down so you can edit it a little bit easier. And then just scroll back down to those same three settings. And I'm just going to change those back to my preferred settings. And again, changing the position of the keyframes will alter the animation, the final result of the animation. So this is an incredibly helpful, incredibly versatile script. One thing to note, if you add an ease to your keyframe, it negates the expression. So don't try adding eases. But other than that, it is a fantastic, simple, incredibly versatile tool, and enjoy.